So what we have is the Lenovo Legion 5 laptop. This is a gaming laptop for under thousand US. Uh, it's literally like one cent under thousand US. On Amazon, of course, when you add in some taxes, it's about one thousand and sixty nine US. Now this is a gaming laptop and it is considered a really good laptop. So I am really excited to get into this and see what is here. It came in this humongous box. <laughs> I was wondering why it was so heavy, but it came in this humongous box. So I'll see what exactly is in this to warrant this humongous box. But it really looks good. So if you look at it right now, it has this thing here up top. That could like, like I mean, you literally go in, if you like men in black or something like that, you're going to war or something like that. And you're carrying a suitcase, so you're really going into the gaming situation. So maybe you can even use this as your, <laughs> as your, uh, laptop case when you go in to do some heavy gaming walking with this like that you know but anyway this is just to show you this uh, but let's get right into this unboxing okay so let's start with the top here mm. oh attacking myself okay Oh, okay, well, it's... there goes my cutting. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's open up. Hmm, this is interesting. This is really interesting. So, how does this work? Let's see, how does this work? Ah. Oh! <laughs> wow! Ah. Okay! How do I get this out now? Oh, and this is really good packaging. Really good presentation. So, it's in this. But let me, let's put this down. Let's see what else is in here. Aha. Oh, is there anything else? So we have the cable. We have the power rip. This is huge. This is a. Let me open it up quickly. Okay, so this is a. A 230 watt power brick. The usual ducks and stuff. So we have the warranty. Oh, this is the same warranty, guys. So this is okay. This is a support. And uh, this is basically telling you what this is like, Lenovo Legion 5, 15 inch, 05, Lenovo Legion 5, 17 inch. So this is 15 inch, of course. And we'll get more into that in a few. So let's just put this box to the side. Let's take out. Ooh. This is very nice, actually. No, it's not as fancy as the Acer Red Helios 300. But I would say it is pretty good looking as well. Okay, so I changed the camera angle a little to make it easier for you to see what is going on. All right, good. So from the top, you can see it has the Anova sign, the Legion sign, which has this little sheen. It is pretty, pretty right. Now you can already see it already starting to capture some fingerprints. <laughs> now the IOs seems to be mostly at the back so I'm just gonna go through them you know my usual stuff form you know I usually do this so let's go so we have a USB like 3.0 now this also works due purpose of charging you can see it's this right here 
so you can literally charge your device all right this is the of course the microphone and headphone jack jewel heat vent heat vent this is the lock power port like you can see other unique design and uh, I guess that is for the extra power that you would need and the unique head so let's see if you look you see it has this fancy head and I mean I guess this is for additional power so that means this laptop should be really, really good so we have the HDMI port we have two more USB type 3 ports right uh, this is type A type 3 ports we have a USB type C port of course we have the Ethernet port which is not covered but it is fine and we have another USB port and of course we have notification lights or notification LEDs so I think these are three USB type 3 ports they don't look like USB type O port or sorry USB type 3 ports so that's what now we have at the bottom we have a very large heat vent you can see there are two ports here right for the for the cooling fans okay you see there are two ports there for the cooling fans now what I like for the bottom here other than the fact that it has the name legion in the bottom here, just in case you're looking from the bottom up I guess um, this actually feels really nice I don't think this will have a much more slipping problem with this now of course in order to get in you of course you have to remove these different screws and get to get into the laptop but I've, I was told it's not very difficult it doesn't look like it'll be difficult to get in I don't think you really need like heavy heavy pry tools to get in but at the same time it doesn't look as easy to get in as the pry to Helios is to get in now let's open it up to see how it looks ah usual screen stuff and this is pretty I mean it's not very extra fancy but it's pretty and we the front here we see that it has the lens uh, cover lens cover essentially so this will ensure that you have a privacy you don't have to use tape <laughs> anymore to protect your privacy uh, of course it says it's Ryzen 7 and of course once you look at this this is a wonderful opportunity for me to go into the specs now this is the AMD Ryzen 7 4800 series laptop now for those who use Intel this is essentially the i7 version of AMD now you wonder why would AMD be in the gaming laptop now if you've been paying that much attention you know that AMD now has surpassed Intel when it comes to performance in the CPU. So pair with this there is a 1660 Ti, not a Max-Q, the actual 1660 Ti, NVIDIA GeForce GTX processor or GPU sorry. Now this should mean that you should be able to play most titles at max settings and then when you pair this with a 144 megahertz screen that also is very color accurate you basically in a gamers and a content creators tree now this is a wonderful laptop for all of those things all right now it's paired with 512 nvme um, ssd of course it's expandable by either uh ssd as the 2.5 SSD or M.2 SSD right but you can use both at the same time but it do have ports for either of those two now it has 16 gigabytes of RAM but it's expandable up to a whopping 64 gigabytes of RAM now <laughs> I would love to expand to that level right so but this is this is this is amazing as a whole now free the keys they're picky um, I can't say before the printer more I compared it because that was my last laptop and but the keys are still good the spacing is pretty good um, this is pretty, pretty good for gaming pretty good for programming I can tell it's pretty good for general use now the hinge 
it's pretty okay you can do this with one hand um, it feels durable and I think this should be definitely a good laptop to use just from the feel of it now it's plastic build but this doesn't feel like cheap plastic at all it feels like a good standard plastic and it feels very durable now let me turn this on to see how it looks note to self you don't usually turn on your laptop on a soft surface but let's see how it looks when you turn it on now of course it's LED black lit you can see it here and the screen is coming on let's see and that's how fast it is <laughs> well So let's turn it on to see how it goes and let's see what happens and I will get back to you when I've done setting it up. So we're back and we get a chance to see the screen. I mean the screen is just beautiful and it's not at the brightest setting. Let me just show you. that it's brightest and this is it foot percent you know which is more manageable for the eyes and this is probably the best lighting to use for color grading or editing because it's more accurate all right so let me just do a quick check of the system as now as you can see it says 475 gigabytes 426 gigabytes 3 or 425 gigabytes let me just do a quick check of the system okay now we can see the system summary and it's version 1001 and I'm gonna say the rest Lenovo uh, Microsoft 10 home AMD Ryzen 7 for the 4800H with Radeon graphics 2900 megahertz gigabytes of install physical memory all right so that's another important note this uses the RAM that it's used is 3200 megahertz so that is that's the fastest speed and 266 or 267 depending where you get it from so I mean this is supposed to be a system that should fly it should be just smooth and should just fly okay so as usual i am just looking forward to getting into the next video which will be the installation of the ssd so at least you know what to do and of course if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave if you want to see more videos like this of course please subscribe also please press like because it helps with the youtube algorithm which means that it will get to more people if there's more interactions with the video so please support and help this channel to continue to grow so I can continue to share what I know and help persons in different ways. So this is Asa here and I'll see you again in another video.